event. I'm Janelle Burrell. We are monitoring the cleanup efforts throughout the region and, and we have team coverage from the field and from the CBS3 Weather Center in the aftermath of this confirmed tornado. Let's begin in Mullica Hill with Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan. Cleve. Good afternoon, Jim and Janelle. I am right now on Bromley Drive in Mullica Hill, where the National Weather Service just stopped by about 15 minutes ago because some video was taken from this home here showing what appeared to be a funnel cloud touching down right in that tree line behind me. That area is close to uh, Route 322. That's the very popular road through Mullica Hill. And the family that lives here, the DeBacco family, captured some video of what appeared to be a funnel touching down. Let's show you that video. This was a little bit after 8 o'clock last night that the family got a warning on their phone like most of us did that live in the South Jersey area saying that there was a tornado warning started taking a little bit of video because they saw that there was some sort of swirling action in the sky and then the family said we better take cover and they went down to their basement so just a few minutes ago I talked to Jessica Tobacco about that experience last night which was kind of scary because she's got two little kids my husband um, started videoing upstairs because he saw something forming across the street and Really quickly, he just screamed, get down the basement. So we all ran down there and then he came down and opened the back door and took the second video and where you could really see how big it was and how close it was and it was pretty intimidating. And so everybody here is okay. And in fact, the funnel cloud did not come anywhere close to their property. They're really trying to determine where it actually touched down. There's another video uh, that's online showing uh, a backyard in Mullica Hill with uh, the swirling around wind and some lawn furniture destroying part of the deck. So the National Weather Service crew stopped by here. We understand they're going to another street uh, about a mile away and then they're going to move on to Deptford uh, and then some other locations throughout South Jersey. So they're really trying to assess all the damage. They've been to Woodstown, the Salem area. They found some straight line wind damage, no signs of a tornado, but some significant winds, 60 to 80 miles per hour. Uh, so this is a day where they're really trying to get an assessment of what exactly happened last night. And that's the lot. We're live with the latest in Mullica Hill. I'm Cleve Ryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, glad everybody's okay there, Cleve. Thank you.